Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge, Day 47. So today I wanted to show you one more aspect of design that's going to make creating your content and your assets that much easier. So we're going to dive into the designs applet here. And um, over the week or so, I was playing with a photo of my brand new daughter here. And so I wanted to show you something that you can do uh, to create commonality with regards to the colors that are in your designs. So I was just, this was actually when I was playing with Designer, which is the app that you can use command in. Uh, but let's say I wanted to go through, um, let me see, I want to just get, let's get rid of all of this stuff up here. So we're going to cut all this out. And maybe that box at the bottom where it says introducing the new KW app, maybe I say, hey, I want to have that say um, introducing Lily May, something along those lines, right? So I could do that, but it would look a little weird, right? It's got this red and there's no red anywhere else in this entire picture. So maybe I say, you know what? I don't want that block to be red. I'd love it to be maybe the pink color of the blanket. So I can come in and choose the eyedropper tool and select the color here of that blanket and say, all right, that's the color I want to go with. So it's a matter of actually choosing any box, triangle, block, anything that has a color in it, anything you can see this color in, and then choose the fill color button and come down here on the bottom left where the icon is for the eyedropper and select that. You can see the pointer now turns to an eyedropper. And then I could say, well, maybe I don't want to do the pink. Maybe I want to do the aqua of the blanket. And now you can see there's that aqua color. So it's a fantastic way to kind of have colors involved consistently across all of your branding. Um, maybe let's just say we got rid of this. Um, so for example, I could bring in my logo. So here's my logo. And this color, right, doesn't match this color, but maybe I want all the branding to be the exact same color of my logo, right? So you can do that. You can come in and say, okay, let's get the eyedropper, and I want it to be that color. And then now you can see that color has been selected as one of my recently used colors. So then I can come into this square, click on the color button, and say, all right, I want it to be that recently used color. So now you can see the colors match. It's the exact same color as my logo as this box is. So it's a good way, again, like I said, to kind of make sure that your coloring is consistent across all the aspects of your actual branding piece. Um, oftentimes I'll see people that use a, a Keller Williams logo, right? Maybe they're DBA or a Keller Williams design that has our rich, deep, dark red color in it. And they put something in it that's also red or pink or maroon, and the colors just don't match very well, this would be a great example of a tool that you could use to make sure that those colors match. So that's it for today, day 47 of the Keller Williams Command 66 Day Challenge. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Friday. Looking forward to a great weekend. As always, I will talk to you soon. Thanks.